Okay, so we got our motors clean. Uh, the wires are removed and they're ready to be soldered with new wires. Uh, we've selected 18 gauge wire. Uh, I think that's probably enough for uh, what we're doing. And uh, we're going to determine how much wire we need by feeding it through our holes here and then um, the wire is going to need to run to our motor controller here. So the motor controller is going to be in this location and we'll probably mount it like that. So on this side the wire doesn't need to be very long at all. But on this side it's going to need to be longer. So we'll try and Okay, so that'll be one, one length that we're going to need, and it's a little bit longer than the wires that we had before. Um, but these wires are smaller and they'll be easier for us to route. Uh, and they're solid copper so they have, uh, they can conduct a fair amount of, of current if they need to. Certainly rated for, I think, what we're going to be doing. I'm going to bend the wire around like this. And that way I can hook it around the contact for the motor. Okay, so I'm using 6040 rosin core solder. Uh, I like the rosin core because it uh, tends to stick better. There we go. Yeah, just want to make sure that the solder is completely surrounding the copper. And a good way to do that is to just heat the copper and the solder will flow over it. There we go. Oop, that one moved. Just a little bit. That's okay. So you can see that there's a complete contact with the uh, with the hair dryer motor closest to the motor. Pull the, the zip tie around and feed it back through the hole on the other side. These zip ties are actually way longer than they need to be. I, I kind of prefer long zip ties because it means that you can use them on more things, but you can use much shorter ones and they are cheaper. Okay. Now remember we cut those little flanges out of the bottom of this of those. All right, there we go. Make sure that's lined up well. This guy little this little one doesn't want to quite work into the place that we want it to go. So we have to we'll take the zip tie and try and pry it over the Sometimes these things can be tricky. Uh, let's see if we can get this. Uh, we may, may, may need to loosen it just a little bit. Okay. You know, one thing I think we might want to do is just, just to make sure that the motor, the zip tie has good contact with the motor. Yeah, I, it might be okay like that. Yeah, I think it might be okay like that. We'll give it a shot. It may we need we may need to file down these two pieces right here later, but and it's a uh, pretty tough stuff, so it's kind of hard to snap off. But there we go. Got it. All right. So this will be our shim. Hopefully it's not too big. Looks like it might be actually. I think it'll be all right.
So those are in. Let's double check the wheel turns freely. And it's in there pretty good. Looks pretty decent. And uh, seems like it can support a little bit of load. So we'll go ahead and trim off these guys. And now that it's in there, I may try and just give it a little bit more. So now we do the other side. This guy. Here. Woohoo! Okay, so we have our motors in place. 